Hey, what's up guys, your boy Chris back here again with the next video to give a full explanation on the aquaponic system by Hillside Farmer. You know you have your boy Mark behind the camera. Um, so let's go. Alright, if you take a look over there, you realize that I have a blue drum with five um, all protruding from it. Yes, that is our filter system which will have a cover which will put, um, include in the future we are just doing a step by step improvement now with the filter let me give you a brief explanation how i set up the filter so first i got a drum from inside of a washing machine now the drum inside of the washing machine has small holes inside of it which help to filter out large obstacles right then in the drum i put a small mesh inside the rim of the drum of the washing machine then I place sponge around and in the center I place gravel, right? So that creates a biological and mechanical filter system which we have here running now for us. It is doing a great job so far. I think that we can improve on it, but I'm still feeling it out and see what is taking place. What I did, if you look at this system here, you'll see a pipe protruding from the main tool going under our secure place here now it is connected to a pump which is in turn to be connected to this filter here right this arm timer here which is a mechanical electrical timer now you can set it by pulling up all the parts and then pushing down the interval that you want some has 15 minute interval some has 30 minute interval so it did turn on the, the, the pump and off the pump every 30 minutes. But you can change the sequence as you feel. For different plants, the sequence of on and off water flow is maybe different. For the sweet pepper, I'm using half an hour, right? But for lettuce, I get a better understanding that you can use 15 minutes on and 30 minutes off, right? So that is one setting for the whole system so far. The water is sucked by the pump to this pipe here as you can see we have one way valve there because when you're priming it for the initial startup you don't want the water be flowing back right so once you suck the water easily we then pump the water back into the filtration system that we have designed here right when we pump the water back into the filtration system if you notice that we have a lock off on it we can decide how many Decide the flow rate of the water, how many water going at one time in the filter system, right? Then we protrude the pipe down inside of the filter below the gravel. Why? You want all the heavy sediment and so on to settle at the bottom and not right to the top. Because the way we set up this filter, the pipes are connected through the entire setup at the top. So the water basically overflow inside of the pipe and then run through all the connections. Alright? So if you can look here, connecting from the filter, a pipe run goes to the blue drum, right? Yes, so the water overflow in a tube pipe, elbow, then um, reduce down to a one inch, then pull up the half of blue drum, which is also filled with gravel. Right? Now the gravel, the reason for choosing gravel in the case of the sweet pepper plant is because roots and the stem of the, gra um, the sweet pepper plant want to have a firm anchor somewhere. So we couldn't have used like a um, sponge or so on, else it will topple over when it begins to bear fruit. So we use the, the, the gravel in helping the plant to stay upright and also the, the gravel help to also induce a biological mean of filter and breaking down the species of the fishes so that the plant can absorb the nutrients from it. That is what is taking place here. Now at the blue drum we have some overflow point in case for rain because if you notice it's an open door thing. If rain falls then the, the water can overflow at the top there right through those pipes with not increasing the water level too high. Then after it flows from this blue jump, it passes to a next one inch pipe, 
you put deep set illusion. Same setup, right? But one is connected from the bottom while one is connected from the top of the blue jump, right? Why is that? So we can have a smooth flow. So once the water spill there, it will flow back into here and we create a semi siphon system. We don't have it running as a bell siphon, we just have it running on a continuous flow because um, I, I actually don't see the need for a bell siphon right now but as we go we'll see if it would be preferable to have a bell siphon in, in, instead of a um, actual just steady flow. Why? Because why is that also? The water level is not too high in this case. Now when the water is pulled from here, now this grow bed, it comes through this pipeline and some leaked out here to keep the flow at a constant rate. Come back through this neat little thing that we have created. It is not completely filled yet. We are gonna plan to put, we are planning to put some lettuce in these holes and sweet peppers in these holes, right? We are, um, for these sweet peppers, I'm hardening them in this soil. You can see some of them are here in this soil. We are gonna transplant them and put them in soon as I think they, they um, fertilize the content of this body of water is high enough. But these lettuce will be going in there. What are these? They are basically five gallon jugs that oil come in connected together. Oh, they are connected. They are not connected in one line. First, you have the water entering from the top here and connected straight across from the top again. Then the next connection between the blue drum is at the bottom, filling across the blue drum, then up to the top again, and then from the bottom to the top, right? And then overflow back into the pool. Why? How did I do this connection first? I take the, the cork of or uh, uh, the cap of the, the five gallon buckle. I bore a uh, little hole less than one inch. I get a male and female adapter for one inch. I get a rubber um, tube, bicycle tube can be used and to form the seal. And I tighten in between the cork and the next end of the five gallon drum. And then I screw on the 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 the, 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 be, the behind drum, this drum, onto the car. So I create one connection there. And I continue to do it for five drums just to see how we could use um old things that are not necessarily used again to improve such a structure, right? As you can see in this pool, I have um, mostly domesticated type of fish, right? So here we would have koi, angel fish, goldfish. Yeah, because I'm not really a fan of eating fish, so I mostly go with the pet fish in this one. For the persons in the old soul who would eat fish, would have the tilapia in this tank because we are dealing with a lot amount of fish, right? So. Why do we separate the, the, the koi and the tilapia? Now the tilapia are strong and hardy fish who can manage stress and so on over the koi are delicate fish, right? And I'm more for the koi as a pet so I'm creating a larger environment for the growth. Some person would say why don't you put the koi in the tank above and put the tilapia below? The reason for that is because I'm growing, I'm more for growing the koi and not the tilapia. However, I want to have a few tilapia so that persons in my household can have it to eat. So, that is how it goes. If you look at the tank here with the tilapia, you will realize that we have a negative flow. Basically, the, the water is leaning to one side, flowing back inside of the main pool. So, the nutrients or the feces from these um, both water body would add up to in, um, provide nutrients for the, the plant in the bed and the drum line up set up here. Um, next thing, economic or monetary advantage of such a system. All right? One, if it is properly set up, it will have great yield or greater production yield than compared to if you plant the same amount of crop in the ground. 
based on the the the, the nutrient content of the plant that is one also it reduces the cost of fertilizer right in um, growing these things and the next major thing is you are making money from two sides of the system you're making it from the plant and you can also make it from the animal which are the fishes right so the fish will provide a food source or even for um entertainment purpose because some person would want pet fish such as goldfish and so on so if we do a production of the fish we can sell them back to other persons whether it is for eating purpose or for pet purpose and the plant provide food also which can be sold to other persons and that is for the setup today so i am gonna continue updating you on the setup as we improve the design and setup so far all right it's your boy chris like and subscribe inside farmer